Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you how to make red velvet truffles. They're the perfect bite sized sweet treat and they're easy to make. So if you would like to learn how to make these truffles, then let's get started. Firstly, you're going to need some red velvet cake. For this, you can either use a red velvet box cake, just follow the directions on the package. Or if you would like to, you can make it by scratch by following this recipe for my red velvet cupcakes. But just bake it into a cake rather than cupcakes. I will have the recipe for the red velvet cake listed in the information box as well as on my website, or you can watch the video recipe by clicking the link on the screen now. Once you've baked your red velvet cake and it's been left to cool, we can start to break it up. Do this into a large bowl by breaking the cake into a few smaller pieces first, then using your fingertips to crumble up the pieces. This doesn't take too long, a minute or so, and it's quite fun to do. If you are low on time, you can actually make the cake for these truffles a few days ahead of time to speed up the process. Toss all of the crumbs together with your hands to make sure you've crumbled up all of the cake. Reserve a handful of crumbs to decorate the truffles a little later on and set the cake crumbs to the side while we prepare the remaining ingredients. In a separate bowl, add a package of room temperature cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature, just take it out of the fridge an hour or so before you need to use it. Use a whisk or a hand beater to mix the cream cheese together until it has softened and whipped up a little. This makes it easier to mix with the cake crumbs rather than just using it straight out of the container. To sweeten up the truffles a little, I'm adding half of a cup of icing sugar. You don't want the truffles to be too sweet as they're going to be coated in white chocolate. Add the icing sugar to the bowl with the cream cheese and beat together until smooth and well combined. Use a spatula to scrape all of the cream cheese mixture out of the bowl and into the cake crumbs. Switch to a wooden spoon or your hands to mix the crumbs and cream cheese together until it is well combined and there are no lumps. The truffle mixture should be quite a velvety texture and be sticking together easily. Place some wax paper onto a baking sheet so the truffles don't stick. Take handfuls of the mixture, about a tablespoon or so, and use your hands to roll it into a smooth ball. Try and compact the crumbs as much as possible so there are no cracks and there isn't a chance that they will split apart later on. Continue rolling into balls until you have used all of the truffle mixture. Place the baking sheet filled with the truffles into the fridge to set for at least a few hours. A few hours later when the truffles have set, it's time to melt some chocolate for the coating. Using a sharp knife, cut a block of chocolate into small pieces or break it up with your hands. Place the chocolate into a heatproof bowl and place it over a saucepan with a small amount of simmering water. Turn the heat off and leave the chocolate for a few minutes. Stir the chocolate a few times until it is smooth and completely melted. Remove the truffles from the fridge and place them into the melted chocolate one at a time, turning them with the fork so they are completely covered. Drain the excess chocolate and place the truffles onto wax paper to set. Sprinkle with a small amount of the cake crumbs that we reserved earlier. Repeat with the remaining truffles. The chocolate should set quite quickly as the truffles have just come out of the fridge. If the chocolate is not completely set, place them back into the fridge for about 5 minutes. Then they are ready to serve. Let me know if you give these a try, I would love to see a picture. Don't forget the recipe will be listed in the information box as well as on my website. 
This recipe makes about 50 small truffles, so they're great to share or to make as edible gifts. If you would like to see more dessert recipes, take a look at this chocolate salted caramel tart or this recipe for creme brulee. For other recipes, make sure to take a look at my channel and subscribe for a new video every single Sunday. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!